all this shit right here. This has got to be recently. Yo, fucking... In 2001, they opened up a fucking Pokemon store in New York City. And it lasted from, like, 2001 to, like, 2005. There's, like, barely pictures of their... Inside of the store, when it was open, there was, like, a fucking strict no camera, no picture policy. So there's literally, like, barely pictures or videos of anything involving this fucking place. So... Anything to do with it is worth bread, and in the future, in my opinion, is going to be worth crazy bread. This shit right here, they don't even have it listed under Pokemon Center New York, but this low-key is... I have this in a video that I have on, on my YouTube page. This is a fucking strap for a console. Like, this isn't even... They have it listed as a fucking cell phone strap. That is not what that shit is. That shit is literally... Like, see, I, I bought one of these already. Like, I'm, I'm probably going to buy a couple more. Like, this is something in the future that's me worth fucking bread, I'm telling you. Just off of what it is. It has so many fucking things. It's old. It's Pokemon. It's Pokemon Center New York. And it's fucking the console that came out that people don't even know about. So it's like, has a lot of different things to it. This too. These ceramic plates are fucking cool. I wonder if this has the box to it. Yeah, it does. It's literally on the box. Is this 2001? Yeah. Yeah, you literally need a cop of any, Brian. Deadass. This too, like... I low-key want a cop that's just for a fucking ashtray on some fucking ignorant shit, but at the same time, it's deadass beautiful. I want to keep that shit. Like new, never used for anything but display. Gold is still shiny and not crackling. Colors are bright, no cracks, scratches, or chips. This place was available for a limited time. The New York Pokemon Center was closed in 2005. Depicting Pikachu and Pichu in a ceramic with enameled color. Man, I don't know if this is real gold. This shit is not real gold, bro. What are you talking about? If this is real gold, get the fuck out of here. Imagine. Why do I have this? Actually, yeah, because I actually do not have one of these. This set is low-key fire. I actually want this. The amount of fucking Pokemon toys that I have and the fact that I don't have this one. It's, pro it's probably just the Blastoise that I really want, actually, but this shit is fire. This I want it because I collect so many of these fucking battle figures. It's a fucking Target exclusive. With the Charizard and like the different pose. With the fucking Almastar. Look up the Rapidash. Alright, I will in a second. I'm, I want to go through my shit. I'm, like, I'm going to go through all of my watch list here. This fucking Pokemon trading card holder. Shit is sealed still with the fucking tags on it. This I'm probably going to low-key cop soon. I fucking love this. Just because it's small. Like to put it on a shelf type of thing. Yo, your parents didn't love you if you grew up in the 90s. You didn't have this fucking... This blanket and comforter set. Deadass. I'm not even kidding. Like you had, If you didn't have this... I'm so sorry for you. If you know, you know. <laughs> I've fucking been opening up random boxes on YouTube. I literally just opened up two random boxes in a row. Two of these in the same day. I probably have like five of these. This is the most... I said it in my video too. Like This is the most common one. And this, it pops up for all the time for like 20, 30 bucks. <laughs> Like, what is this? Like, why would I ever like this? But it's like, again, it's it's sealed. It's old. Like, the Blastoise and the Pikachu. Like, the Pikachu here. The Charizard. <laughs> the fucking stapler. A stapler, pencil toppers, two erasers, and a memo clip. So yeah, this is an idea. Look at like I have seven pages of this shit. Look at this shit that I'm I'm like 
if you can understand why it would be value, I'm trying to like break it down and understand like how everything could be valuable or, or why it's cool and why I would fuck with it. Um, this I'm just watching because it's retail about 15 bucks. I'm trying to hoard fucking Hidden Fates anything as much as possible. Uh, these are only really, you can only find these really in GameStops right now. That's the only place that you might be able to see them. If you could see any of these in store, I'd cop one of these. I have um, only like three of these in storage, but this is definitely something. I might cop a fucking box. I was just talking to my boy about that. I was just talking to my boy Fug about copping a box. With the show, let me pull that up real quick. Like the entire sealed box of these. Uh, like I was saying before, the Pokemon Mini Console. This is the carrying case. This is also from Pokemon Center New York. So, it's vintage. It's Pokemon. It's Pokemon Center New York. It's fucking Pokemon Mini. Like, these shit like this will be worth bread in the future. There's, it's just undeniable. This shit is cool. I think this low-key might be one of those things from back in the day where it was fake. But now it's like fucking cool. Like look at this shit. Like there's no way that's real. I th I think these are both fake low key. But low key also fucking fake shit from back in the day is actually worth money. A lot of it really is. Uh, this lot ends in a couple days. I was just looking at it. I actually looked at this last night. Um, those stickers, and then like a keychain, another keychain. I have a couple of these. I probably have like two or three of these. These combat figures, they usually come up about thirty bucks. The the more expensive ones, Charizard, Blastoise, go for like anywhere from sixty to ninety. I see them go for depending on just when they sell. A lot of random ones will pop up too, like these right here, like the fucking, the three birds that you see on the back here. Those all go for the same thing, about about 90 bucks. I see them go for 70, 90 bucks. This is just something super random. Like, at what point did I ever look up a fucking Pokemon towel? Like what? It's saying Target Special Edition. I'm not sure if that's actually a thing, but... Just more of the popular evolutions. I love these battle figures. I've always, like... These are the toys that I seriously fuck with. I was showing this before. It's another one of the same as that clock. The smaller ones. I'd like to get this just, like, put it on a shelf. This is an older figure. It's not the same one. It is a combat figure, but it's an older one, like the second like version of them. Is like the Kanto and Johto versions. So, uh, honestly, I haven't really seen many of these, like the second edition ones. So I don't know what this will go for. So that's why I'm I'm watching it to see if anyone bids on it. But forty bucks, I don't think anyone will. Again, I don't know what, at what point I was ever looking up fucking Pokemon towels, but I low-key want to cop this. This is fire. It looks brand new. Just anything that's, like, old Pokemon, if sealed, new, kind of looks good. Like, And then this is other ridiculous things that I look at. Just eventually I'll have twenty fucking thousand dollars where I could just buy this, right? Fuck it. First edition Shadow is complete base set. PSA 9. $20,000. If any of you have $20,000 and you want to invest it and you thought about putting it into crypto, stocks, but you don't know what the fuck you want. Or Honestly, if you give this guy an offer, he'll take less on it. And this is a fucking steal, low-key. If it, like, the PSA 10 lots go for a lot more, but some of the some of these cards are fucking two thousand each. Like this this Charizard's probably this Blastoise is fifteen hundred easily. PSA nine on this first edition is is easily two grand. Like you could low key you could low key flip this lot quick 
And it's only the hollows too. It's not the whole set. It's just the hollows in the set. You're my man, Avlex. Good looks, bro. Appreciate that. This is another one of those, like, all right, it's six, it's 35 bucks, it's old, it's Tomy, it's before Pokemon came over here, and this is like in Japan, before Hasbro made it, a lot of Hasbro stuff that I have, Tomy was the people like in Japan making a lot of these Pokemon toys, pretty much anything to do with Pokemon. It's actually crazy if you look at it, the same exact cards came out in Japan pretty much. Uh, some of them in Japan, I actually like them more. But, like, a regular, like a PSA 10, it's only 55 bucks. So, I am I might low-key start getting into, like, collecting these sets, because I feel like over time, these will appreciate more. People will start appreciating appreciating them more, and what it will also appreciate in value. This is fucking dope. This is exclusive. I know, I know that this was limited, and I'm pretty sure it was only released in Japan. So, I'm looking into getting a lot more of these games sealed. If I buy one, I just bought one actually recently, but this one here, this is my next purchase. If no one buys this, like this exact one I want to buy, I'm trying to get them all. We see how it has the Nintendo seal on it. I'm trying to get them, like, I have them, some of them new in the box, but they're, like, not sealed. I want them fucking sealed like that. This also here, Gym Law 2001 fucking badges. First edition PSA 8, Snorlax. Something also I think will go up in value. A lot of people are underestimating jungle fossil sets because they printed a lot of them. So people are like, oh yeah, well they printed the shit out of them. There's a lot of it available. Well, a lot of getting are getting open. A lot are getting lost in time. That's that's happening. And if you look actually too, there's not really a lot of graded of these. Like there's a lot of sealed boosters, a lot too of, of Pokemon fossil and jungle. This hat. Just fucking cool as fuck. Old stitched. Again, what I was saying before, I, I just feel like a lot of these are super undervalued. These old Japanese cards, I think, have a lot of potential. I haven't heard anybody really talking about the potential with the gains on these, but look, like these are 96. Fucking Pokemon wasn't big until 99 here in like in the states so it's, it's it was big there so think about how big it, it still is there so I, I don't understand really why japanese cars are so undervalued to be honest still at this point another fucking towel like look at this it has all the fucking pokemon in it like i actually need this but it's annoying this has a few stains on it, it showed pictures 10 through 12 let's check that out is it bad man got the fucking measuring tape out Uh, stains are not bad at all. I'd fuck with this. Yo, what's good, sir? Appreciate the biddies. This is something that well, I'm not sure if this is real. I just I feel like if this was real, somebody would have bought this already. Also, it's it's hard to fucking look shit up from this. It's, it's annoying because. You really can't look things up from that. It was 2001. It's before shit was really published like that on the fucking internet. Got to figure English speaking buyers just don't buy it because it's not their language. Yeah, I guess. But uh, it's it's it really look like this right here. Look. PSA 10 Lapras, dude. It's fucking $55. Like, I'm going to... I'm about to buy a whole fucking jungle... Uh, like a Japanese fucking fossil or jungle set... PSA 10, it's going to be like a couple hundred bucks. Like, what? I'll, I could buy the whole fucking set PSA 10. 55 bucks. That's what I'm saying. These cards, too, like, they pop. I, I really like the Japanese ones. 
Look, look at the rocket in the background. I got I got one a couple years ago of this exact same card for like ninety bucks, and now look, this is the cheapest one that's on eBay, literally. And I got it mine probably uh, actually it's a couple years ago. That's probably four or five years ago. So it's literally more than double in price in a couple years. This is my fucking favorite card. I love this artwork. Same with this. This is the cheapest of here. Cheapest of the first edition Dark Blastoise that's on eBay right now, 180 bucks. This lot of three is actually not bad. They're all nines. Two of them are first edition, and this one is shadowless. For 200 bucks, like, low-key a good deal. This Blastoise... Uh, again, I've seen this actually. I've, I've said before, like seventy to ninety. I, th I think that's more on the Charizard, but the Blastoise goes. Yeah, this is around what price it'll go for. I'm actually surprised this is still up. How many people are watching this? Yeah, let's say it's got to be a bunch of people watching this. I opened one of these on stream last night. Look at this, sixty bucks. <coughs> Excuse me. This is probably the only one here. Probably the only one on eBay. Like, yeah, I pro I got mine for probably like thirty, but th this is actually what this goes for. I've showed a couple of these already going through my watch list. These are the cases for the Pokemon Mini, but these are like the, actually the bigger ones too. These black ones. And here, this is you can't really see, but it's like white and fucking see through with crystals, like little speckles on it, sparkles, whatever. In the yellow bag. I showed this before. The Hidden Fates pin collection. Again if you go buy your GameStop or Walmart. And they have these. I'd suggest getting them. Putting them away. I really think Hidden Fates is going to be worth a lot of money in the future. Like I have so many of these that I watch. I think this is super dope. This multi-pack here. Just because it's like four different ones in one. It's going for like 60. I'm actually surprised this. Yeah, this has to have a lot too. I'm surprised this is up. This is actually pretty cool. My boy Ryan fucking snapped me some shit the other day of him at a vintage store that had like a party set. Yeah, this is still like a big thing that's on eBay. Look at this, bro. I thought this was an actual bench that you sit on. Like I'm looking at it. I'm like, what the fuck? Like a whole ass bench and it was only like 13 bucks. Look at this shit. It's like for fucking tech decks, bro. This shit almost caught me. I really almost bought this shit. This shit is like this big. Like what? Shit is dead ass two inches big. I really thought that was a whole ass bench. Yeah, free burger for real. Do I have the Pokey Walker that came with the Heart Gold and Soul Silver? I don't. I actually sold my Soul Silver a couple years ago. I, f I flipped all, like all of my old games. A bunch of years ago, I sold silver, like a bunch of my GBA games. I just showed this to yellow. No symbol. So if you look up a regular Snorlax, it's going to have the jungle symbol on it. These rare no symbol cards, because it's, it's an error, it's supposed to have the jungle symbol here. That's like a whole other side of collecting. There's certain people that only collect shit like this. Uh, if you if you look at this bank, you literally put like a coin in the middle of it, and then Pikachu and Meowth like have a battle to fucking which one grabs it, and it just stores it. This right here is actually in my fucking cart too. Look, view cart. These come out at the be the first week is February, so in a couple weeks. This is an entire booster box and two elite trainer boxes. These elite trainer boxes are probably going to go for like 40, 50 bucks each. And this is like 90. So this is actually a good deal. And this sports and more store is actually a credited person. I've seen a lot of good reviews on Reddit as well from him. So I'll probably end up copying this.
and then this is two of them here so i'll probably end up copying this and this to be honest because i think these are going to be 40 or 50 each or 45 or 46 after tax this is going to be again like 90 100 so you're definitely saving some money here and i definitely am going to be opening shit like this so i might get this i think i'm going to cop this to put away just to have and then just get everything else local that i can So like I I just lowball the shit out of people sometimes. It's actually hysterical. Low key, this is actually a good deal. Um, the, I I'd say these are probably ten fifteen bucks each, and then again, this is probably low key worth more than the entire listing. But I'll still lowball. I still won't pay forty for this right now. Like fuck it. But like eventually, this is something I'd cop. Like this is why this is on my watch list because this is something and probably you know if I was on eBay. At three in the morning, I might just copy for no fucking reason. It's one of those. Again, another small Pokemon clock. I think this is dope. I actually really want this. I'm going to get this. What I really want is the Pokemon Center clock. But I've only seen... I've never actually seen one on YouTube. I'm sorry. I've seen it only on YouTube. I've never seen one on eBay. I'm about to pull up a video on YouTube real quick. Pokemon Center NY Clock. Supposedly only fucking one or two of these will ever come up a year on eBay and people are like unrealistic with what they want for them. Like, yo, I need this so bad. Like with the fucking New York skyline, bro. Like, I need that shit bad. Yeah, and it does different songs too, which is fire. Like, this right here is. Like, probably the holy grail of Pokemon Center, Pokemon Center New York, of, of the entire, anything that, anybody that collects anything like this. I think it has four different songs. Shit is so fucking cool. Need that bad. Uh, I actually just copped this. This actually just came in the mail. Again, fuck it. Lowball people till they take it. Look at this fucking hat. Shit is so cool. Like, shit like this, I want to fucking deadass cut it out and put it on, like, start making shit out of it. But look, you want to do that with this backpack too. Start cutting out all these fucking... Cool ass stitchings. Just embroidery shit. So this same one, I don't know why I'm watching this, because this same exact clock is like 40, 50 bucks for two other listings. So I don't know why I'm even watching this. Radio pals. Like this is an actual fucking radio. FM radio with earphones. Look at this shit. This is the type of shit that I like would like I'd definitely buy this. Hasbro. It's actually Hasbro and Tiger, which is crazy. Because for a while, it was like back and forth of who was doing it, and then Tiger took over after Hasbro. Pretty sure this is the only one of these on fucking eBay. Like, look at this shit. The Pokeball controls the car. I messaged this dude. I think I offered him like 40 bucks for it. This shit is actually fucking cool as fuck though. I've never seen it on eBay. On some fucking Pawn Star shit or whatever. Is it? Nah, not Pawn Stars. What are those other motherfuckers that go around and they like, drive around and they like buy antiques from people? If you've never seen it before, buy it. 
I've been on eBay lurking Pokemon for a long fucking time. I've never seen this shit. This shit is fucking cool as hell. And I love Blastoise and it's Charizard. But a hundred bucks? Like, yeah, he knows. That that is actually probably worth a hundred bucks, realistically. But I probably wouldn't pay more than forty for it. This is another one of those when I come up, if this is still available, I need this immediately. I don't know why this is still available. This is a fucking first. These are three first edition boxes. Is it? Yeah. One, two, three first edition boxes, which are, are like 15 grand each or like five grand each, like four or five grand each. Then this base set, unlimited box is like four, 4,500, five grand each. So for someone that cops booster boxes, I'm not sure why this is still fucking up there. It's not fake. Hundred per. This is a hundred percent real. You can really tell it's real because of the wizards. It's sealed. And they all have the wizards thing on it. See how they all have the wizards. Those are all definitely real. We're gonna offer him five bucks. <laughs> Just fucking lowball the shit out of people. Pokemon fucking magnet. Like what? What do you even? I don't even know what language that is. Like how much shit do I? I don't even know how much shit I have watched. Another one of these, uh, the spinning display. I, I look at when I get this for like my toys and shit. Is this the see through one? Nah. So. There's two different Gengars, so there's a solid one and there's a see-through one, and I have the Hasbro see-through one, but the one that started the craze of this being popular is the Japanese one. This is actually worth that. I, I opened one of these in one of my first videos, the Shiny Blastoise. Yeah, th this is actually worth 90 bucks. It's like 17 watchers. This will go, too. Guarantee you this will go soon. It's just... The Shining Charizard, oh my god, I don't even, there might be one or two up on eBay, period. Wait, ETC made you 5Gs overnight? Yeah, you gotta buy a booster box at that point. I think I actually, I was watching before, so I think it was 180 that was the one. That, this might be low-key the cheapest one. 165 for this Blastoise. Need it. Need another one of those. I want to get a 10 Loki though. This is a placemat. Pokemon Center New York. It actually looks in decent condition. Hasbro. Hasbro. Gamer Ball. Fucking Grabber Ball. I fucking remember these. I, I think I have a couple of these, but this is not something real you see a lot. See, a lot of people fucking open those just because it was the Pokeball, too. So you don't really see those sealed a lot. So, yeah, I buy that shit. I showed the red one before, but this is like the... Uh, it's actually black. It looks blue or see-through. It's actually kind of transparent, but black. Again, it's Pokemon Center New York. It's Pokemon Mini. This is what I love the best about this. Look at the, the other side of this. You can't really see it because most of the time it comes like this on this side. If you flip it over, this is what it looks like on that side. Shit is dope. It's actually for the Pokemon Mini Console. Oh, this shit ended out of stock, out of stock. Yes. I think I actually won this. <laughs> I literally won this shit. It was like 20 bucks. See, I wasn't sure of the actual condition of this, so I didn't bid on it. But this is still cheap as fuck. But I've also seen that these Japanese cars are super undervalued too for some reason. See this? Did they relist this? No, it sold. This is so dope. I'm sick. I, I actually wanted this. Look at this. This figure here. It's electronic. It's chancy. With the fucking hat. This is actually super limited. There's definitely not another one of these on eBay. There's a lot of other figures that are super common. But this is like the rarest one of these. So I watched a video of this dude Z and G Emporium. 
check him out on YouTube. He's like a market watcher. He sells boxes and shit. He's like a high end collector and, and reseller. And he said, if you want to like gauge the market, this is a really good card to look at. At the beginning, the beginning of last year, this card was going for about 180 bucks. The same exact card. So if you want to like gauge the market and where it really is, this single card is a really good place to look at. And this just ended a couple days ago because I remember I was looking at this card. I'm probably going to buy one of these soon, to be honest. I'm going to know it. Somebody bought this the other day. I got a fucking notification that someone bought this. This sell, and, and I think they took 90 for it, too. I'm pretty sure i seen they took 90 for it. Low-key, though, it has this Gengar that this Gengar one by itself is worth 50, 60 bucks. And you figure the rest of them are worth 30, so it's worth it. This is really actually worth it for 120, but for 90, I, I think I offered him 80. He didn't take 80. Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Box. If you have the opportunity, cop them. I doubt you can go to the store and find these by you. This is another thing that I don't understand is fucking unappreciated. These CD promos. This is right before they came out. In Japan, like they came out in uh in the United States from Japan. This is just an unrealistic price for these sealed toys. This dude wanted too much for you and no bids, no shot. I don't know why I was looking at the Spanish one. I I have no interest in Spanish. I only have interest in the Japanese and the American ones. The other ones have value, but I'm not interested in them. I was looking at this. I low-key wanted to cop this. If you look at the condition of this, I think you can pull it up still. This fucking card is in amazing condition. Like, look at that shit. There's no whiting. The centering is good. This card, if to send in, if you send this in and get it graded, if that's like a nine or if this is a ten, it, which it low key might be, because it looks fucking great. There's no scratches or nothing. Like, that's a fifteen hundred dollar card, literally. Went for two fifty. Shit like that you gotta really look out for, but you gotta also understand there's fifty thousand more nerds nerdier than me that are fucking richer, way richer than I am, that are sitting here waiting to like, lurking or waiting to buy shit all day. This too, like this these these are expensive cards. This Lapras too is like a thousand dollar card if it's a ten. It's the same seller too as the other guy that just showed. This Blastoise, if it's a 10, it's a couple hundred dollar card. Over 50 bucks, 56 bucks. Even if it's a 9, you just seen it's a $150 card. Clefairy Shyless First Edition, 380. So again, shout out to ZNG Emporium. I mentioned him earlier. He talks about this is probably the best worth in value if you collect Pokemon, if you're getting into it. To buy a first edition Shadowless PSA 9 Hollow card. Any of them. Clefairy, Nidoking. There, there's the more fucking sought after ones, which is like Blastoise, Charizard, like the ones that people want. But a first edition Shadowless pack goes for a couple hundred bucks, like 800 bucks, first of all. Second of all, 95% of the time, if you buy a first edition Shadowless pack, it's going to be way light, meaning it's not going to have a hollow in it. So this, you guarantee a hollow, you guarantee a PSA 9, it's a first edition Shadowless. For a couple hundred bucks, this is the... In my opinion, if you had a couple hundred bucks and you wanted to throw it into Pokemon, this is something I'd get. Not specifically the Fairy, but a first edition Shadowless base set hollow, any of them. This is crazy. This went for four hundred. This is actually like an eight hundred to a thousand dollar item. But you know, there's that's what it really is worth. But there's the market for it. This four hundred went for. This entire display has all the Pokemon in it, the original ones that they made, and they made this as, as a, a collector's edition too, which is pretty cool. Wade heavy pack. So besides the, who was it before? It wasn't Chansey. Yeah, it was Chansey. 
the Chansey figures, so of like these, the electronic ones, the Chansey and the Snorlax, these are the most rare ones of, of these type of figures. I'm sick that this sold like 130 bucks. This shit is so dope though. So these film cards. This went for 83 bucks. The market for these are slowly rising. No one really likes these top cards from back in the day, but these Pokemon the Movie 2000 top series has an every each one of them have an authentic film frayed card in them. Each one of these cards is unique, so none of them are alike. So they all literally each card is literally the film of the movie all cut up and printed out into cards. So literally each one of them is unique. So like the interest and popularity of these are actually rising a lot recently. That's something to look out for. People might actually randomly just have these in the collection. Look, base at PSA 10, 45 bucks. This is something I, I truly love. Again, the, the older toys. How many? I follow like 10 of these. This bag for 40 bucks. This is the same exact one that I have. 240 bucks. See, the other one just went for 280. When did this end? January 2nd, so like a couple weeks later, another one of the same exact cards went for 40 bucks more. The Pokemon Elite Trainer Boxes, I talked about that before. If you see these in the store, cop. Seven, eight, nine lot. This is a bunch of different cards. This is actually a good deal for 260. They're just not first edition, so it's the base shadow. It's not shadow. Sorry, the unlimited base of the jungle set. This is yeah the solid color Gengar. It's not the transparent one, the one that's actually worth a lot of money. Look at this. I only went for sixty bucks. This this typically goes for about a hundred bucks sealed. Whoever got this is hype. That's a good deal. When did this sell? Yeah, a couple weeks ago. I think I bought this actually. Did I? No, I didn't win this one. Did I win this one? I might have. No, I didn't. It would have told me. Yeah, but this is something. See, something like I would get. Like this typically, if they have them up for thirty, if like sixteen fifty, like all right, I'm copping it. This is pretty dope here. This one. See, elite trainer boxes. These typically go, they were going, you know, 70, 80 bucks each. Somebody bought this whole case of every 600 of 10 of them. Just a different lot of cards, packs, Elite Trainer box. Look at this shit. Did they resell it? Nah, somebody bought this. Like, look. I don't remember this, but look at this. This shit inflates up. Like, what? That shit is so cool. Pokemon Center New York laptop case. It's an awesome piece right there. And then just like more cards and breaking down like the value of cards and like what they are. The betting set. Holy shit. Every game with the that's actually not a bad price. The Togepi game by itself goes for a couple hundred bucks. See, this bid all ended in one for 110, and the only buy now is up there, or 160 and 180. This ended a couple weeks ago at 110. That's not bad. This ended 10 grand for these two boxes. Wow. So I believe the Greenwing box Charizards are guaranteed shadowless. 
or it's like a possibility that they could be shadowless. Big difference there. Pokemon Tetris, see this is closed but not sealed with like the Nintendo Chanel. Like I'm looking for the Nintendo seal on it. It does go up a couple of bucks just because just like to have the seal on it. It's a pouch, more cards. The Pokemon Mini Console, 40, 50 bucks. That's what they go for typically like a used one. Coin purse bag or for your probably for your trading cards too. So look, that went for a dollar. So that went for six bucks. Like shit, like there's like there's no way in the future that shit like this won't be worth money. I just refuse to believe it. And, and shit like this just won't be there. It's just so random to like, especially have shit sealed too. This shit went for two hundred fifty-five dollars. Look at this. Yeah, this is a Hasbro sample. Look at this shit. I was looking at this. Like, what what the fuck was going on here? Two hundred fifty-five bucks. Like that's not a fucking Chikorita, that's a fucking Cyndaquil. Yeah, this shit was literally a sample. Shit is awesome. I wonder how this person knew what that was. There's, there's no way. So random. Wade packs, more Pokemon cards. Wow, this only went for two fifty, two twenty five. Holy shit. And it's in the bigger box, too. See, but then everyone else wants a fucking 800, 700 bucks for it. But this shit went for 225. 260, technically. Did I get this lot? Nope. I'm sick. How did I miss this one? This is actually a really good one. It has the fucking Gengar. I'm actually annoyed I missed that one. I just got two of these. I just got these. The Mewtwo and the Mew in. Did I get this? No, I didn't. Fuck. I gotta keep up with this more. Sh shit like that. That buy it now. What they want? Fucking sixty. But at auctions, it goes for half the price. You really gotta keep up with shit. Yeah. So this is the really the type of shit. But um. So going into more of how I would look for Pokemon. So let's actually look for some shit now. So let's type in Pokemon Hasbro. Newly listed. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely watching this. Look into that. Yo. Is this sealed? No, I'm literally... What, when does this end? Six days, I'm literally bidding on it. No, I'm watching this, but I'm, this, I'm literally... Fuck, I'm not paying 104, but I'm, this is getting fucking bidded on. Right the fuck now. Just so I know I'll keep up with it. But anyway, I need that this fucking figure is so dope. So I literally just know off rip and I could just scroll quick enough that like I know what's worth value and what's good or not. This is pretty cool. See, like what's crazy is I'm on this shit so much that I've already done this. I've literally already done this. I've seen all of these already because these are all the new ones. This is nothing good here. That's not worth 150. Uh, I actually haven't looked up Pokemon. Tiger. Tiger's the other brand at the same time that came out. Who's YKD? Young King Dave, bro. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Young King Dave. He was too young. So, yeah, nothing good. I mean, these aren't bad for 10 bucks, but probably not. I got a lot of, like, two of these for, like, 12 bucks a couple months ago. It's 
flashlight, not worth it. 75 bucks. Yeah, nothing good here. Uh, so a lot of other people, what they will do, go into Pokemon and then type in booster. Literally just booster, actually. And go to newly listed. 100 packs of Cosmic Eclipse. I would definitely not buy Hidden Fates packs resealed. These these are getting fucking open and resealed like crazy right now. Spanish base set. Get the fuck out of here. It's actually a lot of money too. I was about to say, did somebody take a picture at GameStop with that shit? I'm trying to sell it like at GameStop type shit. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's that. This this isn't bad. These are thirty, sixty, ninety. Like this, these are thirty each or forty each. First edition gym challenge booster pack. See, you see how they 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 don't say anything about. Weighed or unweighed. Like, I swear, people just fucking buy booster boxes, take all the heavies, and sell lights like they're fucking nothing. People are such dickheads. 150 bucks for the empty fucking box. Yeah, all right. Get the fuck out of here. 200 for the box. 300 for the Neo Genesis pack. Holy shit. So yeah, besides that, I go on let go. 